Welcome back to Clean Tech, home of the daily technology reviews. Today we'll be talking about Apple's new VR headset and the possibilities that it has as well as what they want it to do. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. And today's episode is brought to you by Clean Phone, but more on them later. So it is reported that Apple is launching a mixed reality and VR headset. And what this is wanting to be focused on is a focus on gaming, me- and gaming, media consumption, and communication. And this is, they want this to be a dream for developers. So they have a lot of cool specs built into this. So let's go ahead and see. One of the few, one of the coolest things that I do think it has is that it does expect to have a version of FaceTime to arrive in as well. So you'll be able to FaceTime people and hopefully act like you're in the same room as them. That would be pretty awesome. So let's talk about a couple of rumors. The headset's supposed to come with dual 4K micro LED displays with with Wi-Fi 6E support and 15 optical modules, eye tracking and loads more in a lightweight design. Apple's really good at having lightweight things, so I'll I'll be really curious to see what the final design of this looks like. So let's keep digging into exactly what's gonna going on here. Um, so they did actually launch something a while ago called Apple Glasses, but those never really took off. It does look like these goggles are more for gaming. These might have a lot more ground to go off of. And let's talk about the price point of these goggles. The idea is, is by having an AR capable device is that <clears throat> Apple can make sure developers have the opportunity to build augmented reality apps ready for Apple Glasses launch. And that was reflected by the reflected by the rumored price tag, which would range anywhere between one to three thousand dollars. I could honestly see Apple listing these at two thousand dollars and nine nine hundred ninety dollars, and I think they would actually get people paying that for them, which is pretty cool. So let's keep figuring out what they're talking about in this article. <clears throat> So they don't have a specific launch date yet, and this will start out for basically a smaller audience for developers, for gamers, and hopefully this will be adopted more into a mainstream kind of audience. Now let's talk about when Apple will launch these. So <clears throat> hopefully that um, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully that won't be for too won't be too long, considering the latest rumors suggesting the headset may launch sometime in late 2022, and hopefully we do hear some updates in the progress. So let's go ahead and dissect everything that we learned here. So this will mainly be for gaming, communication, and as well as hopefully for some other gaming, communi- like I said, gaming, communication, and I'm sure there's other things will be used for, but mainly those kind of things is for uh, mainly games, which would which is probably what AR and VR is going to take off on as largely the video game crowd, and slowly things will start to be implemented into that space like for pilots and as well for uh, maybe some different sports being able to watch film in them that'd be pretty cool as a former athlete being able to watch film as if you were there would be pretty unique now let's go ahead and talk about clean phone today's sponsor so clean phone is a phone that is absolutely incredible we talk a lot about tech on this channel this is incredible tech this tech allows you to do multiple different things you can manage the apps on your kids phones so we at clean tech will actually send you a free clean phone um, with a monthly subscription but we'll send you the phone for free and with this phone you can now manage apps you can monitor so with the managing apps you can pick what apps you do and don't want on the phone you can also monitor the text messaging and phone calls and you can also schedule how long people can be on that your family members can be on apps or different um, things of the internet so if you don't want your kid on Instagram past 8 o'clock you can set a restriction on that and you can also get screen time reports about how often they're on which website which and which app which is really cool I mean, there's not much technology out like this so if you're interested check out our our, our website at cleanphone.info and check us out there but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like always we'll see you next time happy tech reviews